the mics. We have a non-Muslim. Okay, go ahead, sister. Assalamu alaikum. I'd like to ask if you could shed some light on a verse in the Bible. It's the Old Testament, Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. It's the Hebrew text. Hiko mamitikim, wikulo mahamadim, zidude wazara'i baine Jerusalem. I know that in English, Muhammadim has been translated to altogether lovely. What I'd like to ask is why do Christians not know that Muhammad has been spoken about in the Bible? When the sister asked the question, she's given the Hebrew of the verse of the Bible from Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, which says, Hikkum Amitakim, Vikulli Muhammadim, Zaidudi Zairai Baina Jerusalem. Which means, sister only translated one word, it means he's more sweet, he's altogether lovely, he's my beloved, he's my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. This is the complete translation of the Hebrew verse she quoted. And when it says, Hikkum Vikulli Muhammadim, Muhammadim in the Semitic languages, when you give respect, you add M to it. Like Allah is for God, Elohim is respect for God. So same thing to the name Muhammad, they add him and it means, it says Muhammadim. So if you read the original text, the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is even mentioned in the Bible. Sister is asking, then why don't the Christians believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Sister, you should ask this question to the Christians. I ask this question to hundreds of Christians. Alhamdulillah, some of them accepted Islam. Most of them did not. So I agree with you that the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the scriptures of most of the major world religions, including Bible. And as I mentioned earlier, that not only is he mentioned by name, he is even prophesied in various different parts of the Bible. He is prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. He is also prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. In several places, sister. So that's what I asked to the Christians. If it's clearly mentioned about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then why don't they believe in him? Those Christians who really study and analyze and do research, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. The others who do not want to accept the truth and say, oh, I have been a Christian for 40 years. Now you want me to change my religion? So they are afraid, many a time the ego comes in between, many a time the society comes in between, many a time what will my friends tell me, what would my customers tell me. So these things prevent them from accepting the beauty of Islam. What they fail to realize, they wouldn't mind offending their creator just to please their family and their friends. Pleasing our creator is more important than pleasing your family and friends. So those who realize the importance of Creator, importance of Almighty God, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. Sister, I would like to ask you, that are you a Christian or are you a Muslim? I've been studying Islam for about six months. MashaAllah, so do you believe now that there is one God? I do. Do you believe Jesus is God? Peace be upon him? No, I don't. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah. So if you believe there's one God, you believe Prophet Muhammad, Messenger of God, and according to me, you are six months of research. Yes. <laughs> Your six months of research have brought you to the truth, sister. 
Pardon, I didn't hear you. Those are tears of joy. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> when a person realizes the truth, that part of the Quran says that when people hear the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the moment the believer, tears roll from their eyes. So these are tears of happiness and joy that you have found the truth. As Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. So I believe the truth has freed you today, sister. Your six months of research has brought you to the truth. Sister, would you like to accept Islam? <laughs> sister, would you like to accept Islam? Yes. Is anyone forcing you? Absolutely not. You're doing it out of your own free will? Yes. Inshallah, say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God. That there is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. That is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And the servant of Allah. Servant. servant of Allah. MashaAllah, sister, you're a Muslim. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as He has guided you, may Allah make you a source to guide the other non-Muslims towards Islam. And I pray to Allah to grant you the best in this world and the akhirah and to grant you Jannah paradise, inshallah.